Well, I really call it the Palmer Celebrity Lift, and I designed it with really small incisions with very little downtime. And what you're going to see here is there's extra skin of the neck, extra skin of the face, and I want to do a special little incision underneath the chin. So the beauty of this is really when I dissect the tissue, I do very little. Cool. So when I pull it back, as I'm doing here, the underlying muscle layer, and I trim it, there's almost no disturbed tissue behind because that's what creates bruising and swelling. So there's almost no bruising and swelling with this procedure. A little incision, you oh can see gosh. this guy looks 10 years younger, 90 minutes or less, under a local anesthetic, no general. That yeah, is but that dramatic. before picture used to be attractive to women and men for years and years. All of a sudden, a man has to have a different, a, a, a less tired wow. look. I don't get it. What's you going know, Joy, on? I'm not sure yeah. that's true. I think what's happened is we become sort of more aesthetically involved. And what was like rugged and kind of droopy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. the guy says, you know, I don't want to look like my dad anymore. I want to look a younger version Dr. of the Palmer, way I am. Dr. give me the damage on this one, and how does it differ from other facelift procedures? Well, you know, it's about 8 to 16 grand. I, it depends on how much right. facial contouring goes with it. And it's different because the incisions really are full 6 or 8 inches less. So you're talking about very quick recovery, little bruising, one or two days, this guy goes back to work. And nobody knows the difference. Except so he can take off for him. Friday and go back to work on Monday yeah, and yes. he'd be fine. What guys usually do is they grow the beard for a week. By the time they shave, people say, wow, you look terrific, but nobody knows why they look terrific. Interesting. It just looks better. The next